join me for a behind the scenes of what happens at a YouTube event. So we've just arrived at the YouTube Black Creator Collective event. I'm never gonna lie, I'm feeling awkward. I don't know anybody and there's like, like a few people who've come like in groups um, and people are like still arriving like it's still quite early it's just half one so at the minute we're just kind of mingling and enjoying our Prosecco's um, yeah I'm gonna try and be brave and speak to people just speak to someone in the toilet so that's a start but yeah I'm just gonna chill gonna vibe and have a good time I think I'm going to be really brave and see if someone will take a picture of me in front of the wall. Um, I've got like an iridescent YouTube wall and I wouldn't mind a picture for my thumbnail. So I'm going to see if someone will take a picture for me. Wish me luck. Hello. Hi. Hi. Anybody else want the mac and cheese bite before I have another one? Like we've got at the table, we've got our prosecco, our drinks. It's all good again, copyright. Hi everyone, my name is Maz and I am a partner manager here at YouTube. So that means I look after some of our top creators on the platform. Welcome to our Creator Collective Sip and Pain event that is going to be hosted by our very own Word on the Curb. Yeah! Um, it's weird to be introduced as Word on the Curb because for years we've been kind of just a behind the scenes entity. That's where Word on the Curb journey started from. So we were up in uni, like both from London, um, but grew quite tired of a bit of a lazy depiction and narrative of for us as black boys, but also the intersect of being young at the time. You turn on your, your, your TVs and look at the news and the media and it just wasn't reflective of our realities, being in a Russell Group Uni, kind of finding ourselves in the midst of debating various topics and being engaged in current affairs. So we just thought, well, why don't we change that narrative? Um, and for us, we decided to go to Arndale Centre, um, go and buy a camera and start to go on the streets of Manchester filming people's opinions about various things from current affairs and topical issues. And that's why the channel's called Word on the Curbs. As Matt says, the theme is about mental health. Um, this month is uh, Mental Health Month Awareness. So um, we have a very esteemed panel who we're gonna get to hear from. Hi guys, uh, I'm Saeed, uh, Saeed TV, uh, born and raised in Manchester. My name is Scala and I'm a health and fitness content creator but I also do a lot of mental health content as well. Okay, my name is Ben, I'm a psychotherapist in private practice, I'm actually a Londoner and an Arsenal sport. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> Very patriarchal and so like even thinking or looking back on your own experiences where you know, you can be a seven-year-old boy and you've had a family bereavement and you're crying and your uncle says, don't cry, you're a man. Yes. You know, that's what's going to consistently be pervasive in how you grow up. So you're not going to think, okay, cool, well, I can't show any emotion because I'm a man. Like, right? And, you know, these things are very experiential, but cultural and, re and real for most people. Um, <laughs> so, you know, as we start to, like, see it as the norm, then obviously I think, oh, hopefully, you know, you start to see improvements in that in that front. But then there's also the systemic elements which Ben touched on, which of course make it a bit of a barrier to do so. Yeah. Really, really good shout. Basically, Saeed and, and Scholar have picked up on, we are pre, we should, shouldn't ever forget, human beings are pre-programmed to home in on the negative stuff, mm -hmm. right? It's, a, it's inbuilt into us, it's an evolutionary mechanism. But the way that you try to offset that is absolutely, think about what the balance is. So my question was, is I have a like fluctuating mental health. Um, so, you know, some days I'm like, oh, like, you know, amazing, productive, and my mind's right. But then there's other days where I'm like, oh my gosh, I just want to like cry. So what advice would you give um, to help 
you know, stay consistent on what you want to do with your future and, um, you know, trying to achieve your goals while you've got that fluctuating mental health. I guess I just learned to accept it. I think it's unrealistic to think you're always going to be okay and incorporate it into your life. Say, for example, if you are a creator and you, you're having a bad day, it might be the kind of bad day where you don't want to create at all, but what if you could use whatever you're going through to create? So like this year, I was really stressed and I just thought I'm not going to create because I was feeling really unwell physically and mentally. But then I even spoke to my sister about this recently. She was like, why don't you just create about what you're going through? And, you know, you don't have to put as much pressure on yourself as you usually do. Yeah, I think for me, um, I don't get too excited when I have highs, but then I don't get too low when I get lows. That's that's the way I kind of look at it for me because I kind of have that perspective where, yeah, you'll have them days where, you know, you're going to be sad and whatnot, and, but you're also going to have them days where you're going to be happy. It just, it's the way you, you kind of have your energy. Do you put yourself down on it? You know what I mean? What's, what's happened? Lovely, it's a word on the curb, sip and stroke, creator collective, because everyone should come with a alcoholic beverage to hand. Yes. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be your well-being session. We've talked about it, now we're going to live it. We're going to navigate you through a well-being session in the form of an art class with a difference. YouTube, I need you to put on your apron and the person to your left should tie it for you and you should tie it for the person on your right. That's how we To scream out the correct answer.
Yes, 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 yes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Here we go. Hey. Beyonce concert. Oh, wait. Fatima 